I'll first start off this video by saying Merry Christmas to everybody who lives within the uh, Christmas spirit. And happy holidays to anybody who, you know, just celebrates happy energy this time of year. So, ha Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Now, in terms of vigor, this is what I'm going to say. At the time, at the time of this recording, the new update dropped yesterday. So there's going to be quite a lot of videos where you're going to see me use the LED6, if not any other light machine gun, and you're going to be like, damn, he reloading kind of fast. That's right, I am. Because this gameplay and more gameplay dropped before the update and to those of you who've been out the loop for a while there's a nerf to all lmgs the nerf that said your reload is going to be slower so basically the devs put in a window did you see that grenade cancel that shit was pretty cool the devs put in a window and they made it larger to where it can kill anybody using an LMG. I know. It's crazy. Try reloading the M60 now. If you thought it was slow before. Oh, you don't know what is coming. Now, am I happy with this update? I mean, I made an entire stream on it. If not two entire streams on it. And you know. It's a step in the right direction. I'll give him that. But... Sadly, there's still a lot of work to be done. Whenever somebody starts shooting in an exit like that, that means they're celebrating. So, if you are at the end of a game and you hear random gunshots, and you're already using a tether and one person's left, they're celebrating their exit. I don't know why people do that, but it's probably more than likely just a new player thing. Because, you know, leaving to a new player is everything. And hell, to me, leaving alive is still everything too. You know what I'm saying? So, notice how I walked past the time safe. My reasoning is this. Somebody's going to go for the container rather than a safe. Because the container gives you guns. The safe gives you resources. Which do you think is more attractive to a player? 
an SG-1 or 25 chemicals. And if you say chemicals, you're in the right place. If you say guns, well, the SG-1, you're kind of in the right place, but your opinion will be uh, outweighed by the others. So I hit the same competition twice, right? And that's fine. I don't mind doing that. I do not mind doing that at all. But I will say this. Try not to backtrack. Try not to go the way that you came back from. And vice versa. Because you never know if somebody watched you travel that path. Because I mean, look. You can't see everything in the game. The game is third person for a reason. And it's also not first person for a reason as well. I was not prepared for what you're about to see. Maybe he was trying to get the mission done. Maybe that's the case. But his loadout consisted of one painkiller, one antibiotic, and an LMG with about two clips worth of ammunition in it, and nothing else. This safe was going to be his first attempt at grabbing actual resources. What am I saying here? What I'm saying here is, where was he at for the entire game? I want to say about damn 15, if not 20% of the game is already passed, and he didn't pick up a single piece of resource. If I say that shit right, he didn't pick up a single resource. There you go. So I don't know. I don't know. But now I have an accurate LMG on my hands and a precise LMG in my hands. Yeah, there's a difference between accuracy and precision. Look it up some useless shit that we learned in high school but anyways the match is not over as a matter of fact here's a real one
you see ports in this game aka portable signal detectors they're a one-way ticket to you detecting your person but they're a two-way ticket if the other person has a port too especially on this map if you get pinged back by a port you can only move in a certain area you can only move in a certain area unless you have legs like jet engines and you run away and try to relocate like how I do sometimes you're going to get found out this is a prime example he relied on his ports and why did he use his ports why did he well isn't the airdrop already on the ground there's your answer so is there anything that he could have done differently well i would like to say when he used his port he should have moved in he should have kept moving because you've seen when i ported him back where is he at in the same area so maybe i should learn from this too even though i rarely use a port whenever i ping somebody i try to move I mean, and I mean, look, like seven times out of ten, whenever I use a port, it's because I'm trying to figure out where somebody is, but not necessarily hunt them down, you know? But in this case, he had two of them, and I had one of them. So, upon my port being used, he got spooked. And what did he do? He tried to relocate. But luckily for me, my headphones have, you know, a decent enough range to where I could hear him running to a different location and it just so happens that that location was right in front of me and you know not to mention like I said the airdrop was on the ground near his location and at the very beginning of this whole ordeal where did we hear footsteps running toward down the railroad tracks to the airdrop in the middle of the map. The last second meta. The ports are only there to ensure that he doesn't have to participate in the last second meta too damn often. Not too often, too long. You know? So, all I can really say is be careful out here, people. Be careful. Because even if you think you got somebody to figure it out. They can catch you slipping. Just like people catch me slipping too. I mean, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I just so happen to have a brain and a really nice set of uh, headphones that can allow me to predict where somebody's going to go and or where they're currently headed. And so, remember, even though the patch is dropped for you all already, I got some more gameplay to go through that is pre-patch. Hope you stick around to see it. Until next time, peace.